Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I've been doing my makeup on an everyday basis featuring the beautiful Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. It's like seriously my favorite thing in the world right now. So we're going to start off with the Cetaphil Moisturizer. And so I just put a pump on my hand and then use this flat foundation brush to apply it to my face evenly. Keep it together. Smile on your face even though your heart is frowning. But hang Once you finish applying it, make sure that you rub it in with your hands to make sure that you have a nice smooth finish. And then to finish prepping our face, you can use some lip balm on your lips. So I'm using this EOS lip balm and um, I don't know what flavor this is, but it's the orange one. It's seriously delicious. Kaylee got it for me, and I am in love with it. So once you are finished with that, you are finished prepping. So for foundation, I'm going to be using my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I am obsessed with this right now. It's seriously amazing. It gives you beautiful coverage and such a pretty glow. And I know that it's like sheer glow, but it's like really not sheer. It gives you really wonderful coverage. So I'm applying that using a buffing brush, and I'm going to buff that into my face, really making sure that I work it in very well. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of extra over any trouble areas. And to finish up our face, I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail Concealer, the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. It's seriously wonderful. So I'm going to start off by applying it underneath my eyes. I just dab a few little dots there and make sure that you get into your inner corner because people who have really fair skin especially uh, get really dark inner corners and if you don't conceal that also, it's going to be um, pretty obvious. And then I'm also just using it on any blemishes that I have. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and applying that evenly over my lid. So now it's time for the main event, the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. I'm sure that you guys have seen this like a billion times on YouTube recently because it just came out and everyone's obsessed with it. But I got it for Christmas from my friend Kelly and it's wonderful. So I'm starting off by mixing two pink shades together and applying that all over my lid to give us a nice, beautiful pink base to start with. And now I'm going to take a mixture of two dark pink colors and run that into my crease and I'm going to make it like a super harsh line but don't worry about that because we're going to go back and blend everything all at once so if you end up with a harsh line like me, don't worry. Now I'm going to take this really pretty sort of dark gray color and I'm going to use that as the blending color between the pink that we first applied to our lid and the color that we just applied to our crease. Now I'm going to go in with this beautiful matte gray color and I'm going to apply that on the outer half of my eye. You want to concentrate mostly in the outer corner area but you can blend it about halfway across your eyelid. As long as you love me, I'll be your platinum, I'll be your silver, I'll be your gold. And then lastly, I'm going to take this dark purple color, and I am in love with this color. I'm going to concentrate that right in the outer corner and just in the outer corner because it is pretty dark, and I still want to keep this wearable for an everyday sort of thing. I know this is a little bit more on the dramatic side for every day, but I still think it's super wearable. Um, but this just adds so much beauty to it. It has, like, these really pretty golden flecks in it and it's just wonderful. <laughs> um, and now I'm just using a giant fluffy brush to blend everything out like I said we would, make everything super soft and then you can clean up the edges a little bit. Now we're going to go in with my flower uh, liner, pencil, liquid liner, pen, whatever. Yeah, I know things about stuff. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply a nice thin line along my lash line. I don't like anything too dramatic and I usually skip the wing because I'm always afraid that I'm going to mess it up and then I have to like start my makeup all over and who has the time. So I usually just do a nice, simple, thin black line. And now it's mascara time. You guys know I'm obsessed with mascara, so I'm using these two today. I have the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and CoverGirl's Lash Blast Mascara. I'm starting off with the Rocket and applying a few coats of that. And then I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Mascara and apply a few coats of that. And then my lashes are going to be freaking ballin'. And now we are finished with the eyes. They're seriously beautiful, and so I had to dance around a little bit, obviously. 
<laughs> so now we're going to add some color back into my face because I look like a ghost when I don't have any sort of blush or bronzer on. So I'm using my e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo and I'm taking the bronzer on a big fluffy brush and just applying that sort of towards the back of my face and blending forward towards the apple of my cheek. This is just going to add a really pretty bronze look to my face and then whatever is left on the brush I just sort of run all over the rest of my face. That way I don't look quite so white. <laughs> And now it's time for lips. You guys know about this lipstick because I talk about it in every video. It is Maybelline's On Fire Red and I wear this color pretty much every day. It goes on so smooth, it's so um, pigmented and wonderful and if I had to recommend a red lip to anyone, I would go with this. This look would look really wonderful with a pink lip also but I'm all about the red lips so that's why I chose this one. And now we are finished with the look. I think it's so pretty, it's super wearable even though it's a little bit more on the dramatic side. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and if you have any more requests on um, videos that I should do with the Naked 3 palette, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!